Hey everyone, Dave here. I'm out here in Yellowstone National Park enjoying a nice little vacation with my family, but the only way I could do this was being able to work out here, so I decided to purchase the Starlink Mini so I can work from anywhere like Yellowstone. The Starlink Mini is a small satellite internet device that allows you to get internet pretty much anywhere in the world. It's about the size of a sheet of paper, two inches thick and weighs about two to three pounds. There's a kickstand on the bottom that allows you to set the uh, Starlink on the ground and point up to the sky properly. To get set up, all you have to do is plug in the AC power adapter and then point the Starlink to the sky and then on your smartphone or laptop, connect to the Wi-Fi that is coming off the Starlink device, which has Wi-Fi built into it. There's a wireless router that is actually built into the device, so you can connect a bunch of your uh, Wi-Fi devices, smartphones, laptops, tablets, that type of thing. Alternatively, you can plug in your own router as there is an RJ45 port on the back of the device, so you can manage your own network if you're into that. But keep in mind, there is a waterproof plug that you have to take out in order to plug in that RJ45 plug, whereas the Starlink Mini is IP67 uh, dust proof and water resistant and it might reduce that when you take out that RJ45 plug. On the initial setup to get the Starlink connected, you'll have to use the Starlink app on your smartphone in order to set up your wireless router settings, your network ID, password, and also that is how you're going to uh, set up your Starlink account so that you actually get the service. You can update the Starlink device as well as align the Starlink to the satellites properly for best performance. As of this video, there are two service options. One is $150 per month for unlimited service. And option two is a $50 per month and you'll get 50 gigabytes worth of data. Now keep in mind, these are both no contract options. You can simply turn it on or off directly through the Starlink app, which is nice. The Starlink mini device cost me $663 after tax, which is a bit steep. But if you consider the price of being able to work from anywhere like Yellowstone, which doesn't really have any cell service or very remote locations, really unlocks a whole new level of freedom of where you can work, which can be quite valuable. Here's my experience on how it worked. The first thing I did was we had a 15 hour car ride from California to Wyoming and in my truck, I have a power inverter. So I just plugged in the Starlink AC power adapter into the truck and set the dish on top of the dash. And to my surprise, it worked. My two boys, five and 10, connected up their Nintendo Switches to the Starlink internet and they were playing Fortnite while we were driving 60 miles per hour in the middle of nowhere where I didn't really have any cell service, which was quite amazing. There were moments that the internet dropped off or slowed down to really slow speeds, but for the most part, there was almost no interruptions and uh, maintained speeds of about 40 megabytes per second all the way up to 150 megabytes per second during the drive. Once we got to our campground in Yellowstone, it took me a little while to figure out where to best position the the Starlink in order to get the best performance as well as make sure it wasn't a tripping hazard with the cable and it wasn't too far away that it'd be easy for somebody to steal. It's nice the cable included is 15 feet long, which gives you plenty of distance to be able to position the satellite. Now, there are longer cables available as accessories you can get from Starlink if needed. I tried two different ways to set up Starlink so that it wouldn't be easy to get stolen. The first was I put it back into my car while it was parked as it was close to my trailer and ran the cable through the door, closed the door and locked the truck so it was safe and secure in the truck. However, the speeds uh, weren't performing the best there, so I opted to just putting it on the front of the trailer and then just taking it inside when I was not using the Starlink device. Alternatively, you could get a lock to secure it more. While we were at this particular campsite, I was unable to align it properly to the north as there were too many trees blocking and I just couldn't get the right angle. So I opted to setting it on the front of the trailer facing east. I was getting speeds of around 90 megabits per second 
all the way up to over 200 megabits per second. I was able to do all of my video meetings and even join my Kumo space, which is like a virtual video chat room. But because the Starlink wasn't pointed perfectly to the north. I don't think it had the most stable connection. The router statistic showed an uptime of 95%, which is great, but if you're doing video meetings that uses audio and video, it worked fine for about 15 to 20 minutes, then it would cut out for about 10 to 20 seconds, which can be quite annoying if you're in the middle of a conversation. However, everything else that I was doing for work, like emails, instant messaging chat, and I even uploaded a full 4K video to YouTube, which took roughly about an hour for a three gigabyte file. Everything else that I needed to do for work was very fast and snappy and felt like I was at home with my home internet. It's quite interesting to be able to travel to one of the most beautiful national parks that has almost no cell service or internet, be able to work during the day and during your breaks or after work, be able to go see herds of bison crossing the road or seeing the most epic looking waterfalls, canyons, and even these volcanic geysers like Old Faithful, all without missing out on your PTO or your very important work. If you would have rewound time just about four years ago, if you were to ask me if I were gonna be working from home, I would told you you're insane. And now being able to work from anywhere like Yellowstone is quite amazing. One thing I will mention is about power. Starlink Mini does need to be hooked up to AC power, which consumes about 40 watts of power. And if you're camping without electricity like I am, the need for power is very important. But if you're hooked up to electricity, then it's no problem. I have our trailer set up with a lithium battery and a power inverter along with 200 watts of solar panels. So I'm able to use Starlink without having a generator hooked up. I just plug it into the trailer and it can run off of battery power. However, between using all of the electricity, like recharging my laptop, running Starlink, the coffee pot, we are even watching movies at night with the TV and everything else, we have had to run the generator for about a couple of hours a day to make sure that the batteries are fully charged. One of the must haves when working from anywhere is using a good wireless headset like the Yealink BH70 that is a Bluetooth wireless headset. Will work on any of your apps like Microsoft Teams, Ring Central, and all the rest and has a good noise canceling microphone so your customers or team members aren't hearing your kids in the background or that gas generator. And if you need more microphone noise cancellation, we just released a new noise canceling software called Neep, which is an app you download onto your computer that allows you to remove even more background noise with the use of AI, and it will work on any headset or microphone. You can try it for free by going to neep.com. If you need help finding the best headset for your situation, whether you're working from anywhere, home, or the office, that's what our team here at Headset Advisor does. We can match you with the best headset for your situation and your phone system. So call, email, or live chat, and one of our friendly advisors can help. Overall, so far, I am highly impressed with the Starlink Mini, how easy it is to operate. You just plug it in, it has a wireless router built into it, and it works really well even when you're out in the most remote locations, getting upwards of 200 megabytes per second download while still being able to upload uh, my YouTube videos is amazing. So I am thoroughly impressed so far with the Starlink Mini. That's all I got for you on this video. If you wanna learn more about that Neep noise canceling software, we did a full in-depth review, tested against uh, background noises, even a blender. Check out that video right up here. That's all I got for you. Thanks a lot for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one.